And we also had the opportunity to speak exclusively with the OPEC Secretary General, Mohamed Barkindo. He weighed in on a number of issues impacting the oil market right now. But in particular, I wanted to ask Mr. Barkindo about OPEC's current relationship with the United States in light of that recent tweet from the US President Donald Trump, which called on OPEC to take it easy, and comments yesterday from the Saudi Energy Minister, Khaled Al Fala who is now indicating that an extension to that OPEC cut agreement is likely to take place. I also asked him about this controversial no OPEC bill that's making its way and gaining momentum in the United States. This is the No Oil Producing and Exporting Cartels Act, which would essentially give the US Justice Department the capability to sue OPEC for antitrust violations. Mr. Barkindo told me he's not concerned, even though some say that legislation may lead to a breakup of the group. Listen in. The last time I checked, this was definitely not the first time that uh, we have seen the reintroduction of uh, legislation uh, in Congress uh, regarding antitrust. Uh, the Sherman Act uh, and related issues. Uh, OPEC has been doing a great service, not only to producers, you can ask the producers in the shell basins in the United States whether they had benefited from the actions that we have taken over the years, in particular during this longest cycle where we saw prices crashed by over 80% at one point, where we saw the supply-demand balance went into disequilibrium that had never been witnessed, where we saw companies in the United States, more than 100, file for bankruptcy, with all the negative consequences on the industry, on the regions where they operate. And this has permeated across the industry, both onshore and offshore. No party was insulated. We realized suddenly that we were all in the same boat. And the decisions that OPEC took, together with our non-OPEC partners, literally rescued this industry from total collapse. The United States today as I said, is the biggest producer in the world. And we are proud of the achievements, uh, leveraging on the most sophisticated uh, financial system in the world, if you like, continuing to attract uh, capital uh, from both public and private equity, uh, uh, and meeting uh, this growing demand. Without the shell revolution that we have seen in the US, uh, the world would have been in major, major energy chaos. Uh, thanks to the energy, to the shell revolution in the United States, uh, we have been able to maintain these supplies. We have been able to meet current demand. What is needed now is for us to continue this relationship with the non-OPEC in order to sustain uh, the relative and fragile market stability that we have been able to achieve. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.